guys and welcome to my new video i know a lot of you have been requesting videos like this so here i am so in this video i'm going to teach you guys and basically take you with me on the process of my hair care routine using all natural ingredients so if you want to learn all those things then continue watching hi so i'm here in my garden with my beautiful aloe vera plants and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i do to get the gel you can buy aloe vera already like already processed but i'd rather do it the natural way and i live in the tropics so it's the perfect weather to grow these leaves so first i like to thank the plant and honor the plant that is giving us this medicine this miraculous hair medicine so i like to give thanks to the earth after i do that i cut some of the leaves as you can see and we're gonna remove everything from inside i have a bowl here and a knife so i'm just gonna start scraping the top of the leaf be careful because you don't want to cut yourself um you see Aloe vera gel has so many properties that are just great for skin, for sunburns, to cure any kind of ailments. It is truly a miraculous plant. I'm sorry for the noise outside. Um, as I live in a third world country, there's always noise outside. But I'm trying to make this aesthetic, so I'm here in my garden. So you're just going to cut this all the way to the bottom. And then with a spoon, you're going to scrape it off. Now I'm going to do the other leaf and I'm just going to do the same exact thing. The gel is now in this bowl, as you can see. It's kind of like a cup, a cup full. But now I'm gonna go upstairs and finish the aloe vera gel making process. I'm upstairs now and I have the aloe vera gel here. And I have about a cup of water, which I'm gonna pour in the aloe vera gel. It should be a ratio of about half water and like half aloe gel. Now I'm going to blend this for like 30 seconds or a minute. It looks like milk froth. Now you're gonna grab a strainer and a bowl and pass the mixture through. This is just to get rid of all the little like, little stems, little things that were passed on when I was cutting it. Here you have the liquid mixture. It's very like, it's not too dense, but it's still very slimy. And that's basically what you want. If you want it to be more thick and less runny, just add less water. Now I'm going to put a towel around me and I'm going to apply the aloe vera mask. I'm gonna dump some of it in my head. I'm going to apply some of the scalp because aloe vera is really good for hair growth. But I'm also going to apply it in my ends because my ends need hydration. Now I'm going to do the other side. This is very difficult to do it with one person. <laughs> now that my hair is coated, I'm going to leave it for at least an hour. You know what's another great thing for hair growth? Nutella. And that's because cacao stimulates your hair growth follicles. I just made that up. I just needed an excuse to eat Nutella. Oh my god, I love it. While I wait for the aloe vera to sit on my hair, we're gonna make some flaxseed gel. I have a full video on my channel on how I do the flaxseed gel, but I'm just gonna go through it very quickly here. So first you're gonna need four cups of water. So in my case, two of these. You're gonna dump them in a pot. And you're also going to need a quarter of a cup of flaxseed. 
here it is. But first, I'm gonna go boil the water. Now that the water is boiling, we're going to add the flaxseed. We're gonna leave this for two minutes on high heat, and then I'm gonna bring it down to medium heat and gonna leave that for another three minutes, and then we're gonna take it out of the fire. Now that the five minutes have gone by, I'm gonna transfer the gel into this bowl with the strainer. Now that the gel is in the bowl, I'm going to wait like 30 minutes until it becomes lukewarm and then I'm going to put it in the fridge. Meanwhile, I'm gonna show you guys some of the oils that I've been using on my hair. I'm here in my room with Dini. She's a fan favorite, everyone loves Dini. They love you, Dini. Say hi. I took off my towel because I'm gonna be applying some hair oils to my scalp. And I'm gonna talk about three different oils that are all natural and that are great for hair health and hair growth. So the first one is Sapuyula oil. This oil is found in El Salvador. It comes from a plant called Sapote. And this oil has been used for decades to prevent hair loss, to fix hair loss, and to help hair grow. I apply like 15 to 20 drops and I apply this to my scalp and I just leave this overnight or like at least 30 minutes before I wash my hair. Another oil that I've been using is argan oil which is originated in Morocco. I get this brand from Italy which is a really good quality argan oil and i usually use it for my ends as this oil is excellent for hydrating your hair and it also stimulates hair growth so today i'm just gonna put a little bit in my scalp and i'm not gonna put anything on my ends because i already have aloe so i don't like to oversaturate my hair either i'm just gonna put like two pumps and i'm gonna put it in my hairline because i'm trying to grow my hairline more like these sparse these hairs that are sparse, I'm trying to grow it. And it's actually been growing. Like, these hairs, like, weren't there. Another oil that I've been using is neem oil. This oil actually comes from uh, the tree. Neem tree. This tree actually originated in India. Neem is used to kill insects. It's used, like, as a sort of pesticide. So it can be kind of scary to use it on your head. Like, why would you want to put something that kills animals in your head? But it actually works great for moisturizing skin hair, uh, helps with dandruff if you have dandruff problems, and I mean if you have lice, it would probably help with that too, so just kill them off. Um, but with this oil, since it's a bit harsher, if I use it, I will mix it with a carrier oil and I would use argan oil in this case. Um, I feel like my hair is a bit oversaturated right now, so I'm not going to use neem oil this time but just keep in mind that this oil if you ever see this oil in your local plant shop you should buy it because it's good for your hair now i'm back downstairs with the flaxseed gel and now that it is lukewarm i'm going to put it in the fridge i'm just gonna eat some watermelon while i wait for it to cool down and then i'm gonna go do my shower routine i'm finally in my bathroom Everything that I need for the shower is ready. The flaxseed gel is ready to use. I'm gonna use that after the shower, by the way. And the oils have set in. The aloe vera gel has soaked inside my hair. And now all that's left to do is brush my hair and hop in the shower. I start from the bottom to the top to avoid breakage. It had been like eight days since my last wash, so my scalp really needed this. I shampooed my hair like three times using Argan shampoo, which I get from a brand called Nashi. This brand only uses natural ingredients all based around argan oil. So it's great for your hair, not only for hair growth, but also to keep your hair hydrated. I currently have conditioner in my hair, so I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes before I rinse it off. But look how soft my hair is already. I can just pass it through with my fingers and there's no tangles whatsoever now that i have finished showering i'm going to apply the flaxy gel to my hair and the easiest way to do this is to just dunk all my hair in it so that's what i'm going to do also i get this question a lot and no i do not wash my hair after i use the flaxseed
And now that the gel is in my hair, I'm going to start to scrunch some of it. This is gonna wring out all the excess flaxseed and it's also going to help me form my curls better. This gel is also great if you have curly hair. Not only does it hydrate your hair, it also helps you form your curls or your waves, whatever kind of hair type that you have. Even if you have straight hair, you can still use this gel and it's really good. To help me dry the hair, I'm also going to use <laughs> the outfit that I was using before just to wring out some of the water and help me form my curls better. I'm also not going to use living conditioners this time around. I'm only going to use the flaxseed. And honestly, I'm a firm believer that with the flaxseed and the aloe vera and everything that I like used before, I really don't think I need that many more products after I wash my hair. I'm not going to diffuse it or anything this time around. I'm just going to leave it air dry. This is my hair like 70% dry. It literally takes forever to dry naturally, but here it is. It feels super healthy, it feels super hydrated, and it just looks really pretty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to incorporate any of these steps to your hair care routine, I promise you they're game changer. I did a little photo shoot with this dress on, and I put the photos on my Instagram. If you guys want to go check it out, here's my Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Hi, I'm back. So I forgot to show you guys the final result with my curls completely dry. And it's the next day. I already slept with these curls on and this is how my hair looks. It smells good. It looks good. And I feel good. So... Thank you guys for watching again. Love you.